Hey YouTube, uh, 2001 Dodge Dakota on the lift here, code P0155, throwing a check engine light. Uh, this is a specific code to oxygen sensor heaters. Uh, the P0155 is the bank two upstream sensor, I believe, uh, which is the, the right side upstream sensor. It's kind of a bear to get to. I've got some advantages. I'm going to be able to stand under it and work on it. But we'll show you what it is and how to get there. As far as diagnostics go, O2 heater specific codes are almost always the sensor themselves. Uh, other options are circuitry between the sensor and the PCM and the PCM itself. But those scenarios are pretty rare. So we're just going to pull a sensor. We'll check the heater circuit in it once it's out and make sure that is the culprit. But most of the time it is. So that's where we'll start. Let's get after it. This is why you guys watch YouTube videos, so you don't have to try things twice. But this fender's already missing, or inner fender's already missing several of the little retaining clips. Better vantage point, you can see that sensor on top of the catalytic converter there now. We'll be able to get it from there. Okay. I don't know how good I can do it. Staying out of your way, but pardon me for breathing heavy in your ear. So this guy. Say it's a lucky day. She came loose. Not too big of a fight. And I'm just gonna let that wire twist to thread it out. Maybe a jiggle and a twist at the same time sometimes helps. Okay, there you see she's out of the hole. Now I just got to get the wiring harness unsnapped. <laughs> I'm mad enough now that I'm cutting this, cutting the wire. That's how I'm getting it out. Okay, we are finally got that. After cutting it, I was able to hook it and pull it through. Now, got this red retaining clip. Pull it down with the hook. And push. Hey, I'm losing my flashlight. Battery's dying. Push that clip. Oh. Try these hose pliers. They got a pretty good pushing end on them sometimes. Squeeze and push on it. Oh. Okay, we're unhooked. Now, back in with the new one. I'm going to go up over all of this. And let that sit in there for a second. Give it a good squeeze. She snapped in there. Then this guy. I'm gonna set him back over at the top of the cat so we can get it from the top side. Bring you guys back out. And we'll lower 
are you back down stand by okay back on top a little too high still that sensor sitting right here pull the cap off of it make sure there's anti-seize on that sensor and then i know that i have to turn that in like six times so i'm going to turn it backward like six turns oh that's the wrong way Going about as many times as we'd guess that we have to screw it in. Get it started in the hole. All right. And then get our little tool on there. And the threads pretty soft in there. Don't go crazy. Okay, new sensors in. Button this inner fender back up. Replace all the clips that are missing in this. It. That's all the good guy I've got in me today. Twice as many in there as there were when I got it. Real quick, if that video helped you, if you appreciate what I do, uh, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, turn on them notifications. I'm going to have some new, fun, exciting projects coming up soon. I think you guys will be interested in it. So, uh, tell your friends. Share me. Thanks for your help.